The Rocky Mountains provide the backdrop in Boulder, Colorado, and if you're looking for the Buffaloes, they ain't hard to find. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see the number five team in the country, the Ole Miss Rebels, taking on a team from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. And the Rebels will kick it away to start us off. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Colorado's offense will get the first swing of the game. Here he comes, and obviously a defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. After misfiring, it's second down. Going to the ground. They stop him after a six-yard run out to the 24. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. The Buffaloes will hustle to the line. Looking to throw, it's Sanders. Working that left side now. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. And that's why, for the offensive coordinator, you've got to find as many ways as possible to get this guy going. Just get him the ball close to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't need to be a throw deep down the field. He's so dynamic when he has the ball in his hands. You saw it right there. And the Buffaloes will snap it on first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Soft spot in the middle. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Really nice job by the quarterback understanding I need to throw this ball hard. Like, I got to fit in there tight. And a nice job by the wide receiver wearing it because he really didn't have a choice because he was going to wear that one regardless. And the Buffaloes are moving quickly down the field. Off play action. Fires to the wideout. He's got an open man. Touchdown, Bucks! Hold it in and just kept right on running to the Hallelujah Land. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game, get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. Lining up to add another. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the final 34 yards covered by that touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. So the Ole Miss Rebels offense has the ball for the first time. 
And this figures to be just a tremendous matchup of big play receivers, Jesse. And because of their skills, Reese, you're going to see all types of ways in how they use them, right? They're going to throw it to them. They'll throw screens. They'll get jet sweeps. Get these guys as many touches as you can. Ryan, right, the good thing is if you're a defense, you're used to it. You see this guy in practice every day. Now you're seeing another guy that's elite. Which defense can rise to the challenge and get a few stops and maybe nullify the playmaker? The Rebels want to move quickly. Power football with the run. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. How about the defender? being a heat-seeking missile. He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Last play was a near disaster, now dealing with second and 13. They'll keep it on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive, if he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. Got room at the 35. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And they executed that running back screen to perfection. Quarterback held on to it. He let the rush get to him. Offensive lineman got out in position. And the running back sold it, too. Once he had the ball in his hands, he just had blockers and Greenfield out in front of him. They pick up an explosive play on a running back screen. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Most offensive schemes are predicated on first down productivity. That will not go down as a productive first down point. No, it will not, Reese. Give this defense a line credit, because they were able to get penetration right off the snap and force a negative play. Red pass is complete. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Such a great job by the defense winning on early downs. What does that mean? Now it means third and long. Third and long, now it goes to dime packages, to nickel packages. And taking linebackers off the field and bringing on DBs to really cover more guys and have more speed on the field. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw, it's dark. On the move, he fires. Got him and nobody's close. And you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. And the Rebels moving quickly to the line. The running back has it. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. I think throughout the week in practice, when they were game planning their opening script, I don't even know if they envisioned it going as well as it has. This has been beautiful. Nice balance, really nice rhythm. It feels like everything they're dialing up here on their first drive of the game is working to perfection. They're going to go right back to him on first down. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And they finally ride him down at the one-yard line. And I 
I love this because you got second and really, really long. And what's the idea of the offensive coordinator? Get third and manage, but nice job getting the run. Not only a positive run, shoot, you almost got the first down. Now you're set up for good success on third down. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Just nowhere to go against this defense to find that single yard he needed on third down. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Fourth down and one, and they'll go for it. Snap it to the back. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, oh! I think what you love about that opening drive for the offense is the balance. They were able to throw the football to set themselves up into position, and then he carries it in for the TD. you got to be able to keep defenses on their heels, and they did a nice job of that on this opening drive. PAT unit on the field. Splits the uprights. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Looking for a crease. It's Hayden. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. The Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. They try to pop a run on the draw. They bring him down and he's gonna lose a yard on that one. But you have to find a way to create some hesitation on defense when you're selling the draw play. And they just didn't do it well enough there. Yeah, it's got to be the offensive line and the quarterback and the running back. They all have to work together to, to show pass, pass set up front, act like it's a throw for the quarterback, not rush it. But the defense clearly not fooled, got in the backfield, got the tackle for a loss. Hand goes into the air for the fair catch, and the catch is made around the 40. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? The give to the tailback. And with that stop, we are headed toward the end of the first quarter. We've played one, and we are right back where we started, all tied up after the first period as we take a look at the stats. They fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see who gets the edge early in the second. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. Man, he was going to get his jaw jacked. He got down just in time. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. The Rebels decide to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. 
And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. They move the tight end all over. From the gun, the running back has it. Just slithered through the tackle when he's got room to run. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. And the Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. Right back to the well. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. And you got to focus, right? The first thing you're looking at as a defensive lineman, the first thing you understand is the ball starts with a snap count. I, I have to line up, see the ball. When the ball moves, I move. I know it's simple, but you still see guys jumping off sides all the time. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. They go to the ground. On the move at the 30. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Yeah, defensively, you better be ready to run east and west when you're playing against this offense in their running game. That time, the offense was able to outflank the defense to the right side for a big play. And the Buffaloes will line it up on first and 10. in the red zone. It's Hayden. Drives into the defense, and they get him down after a pickup of three to the 16. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Looking for a gap. It's Hayden. <laughs> Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. The Buffaloes trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Knocked down after a gain of one. They'll mark it at the six. And the Buffaloes want to crank the tempo.
Dude, you're just thinking, hold him to three, make him kick a field goal, don't let him score points. Heck no. You turn it into offense. What a play. Catches the ball in the end zone. Take a knee. Take a knee. No, sir. I'm taking this thing all the way back, 100 yards to the house. What a play. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. And he's coming out of the end zone. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Good surge up front, giving four out to the 18. It's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Looking to pass, it's Sanders. He's got his man. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. You know, lots of times these slot receivers, they're not the biggest guys in the world, but they're really good at finding the open spaces in the middle of the field. And you saw that guy attack the defense in the perfect spot, making life easy for his QB. Third down coming up after the completion. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, this defense knew that they were going to be seeing some option in this game. And right now, everybody's doing a nice job playing their assignments. On the third play of that drive, they were expecting it and everyone communicating and all rallying to the football. That was nice to see it through the coaching staff. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The fair catch just inside the 40. They'll give it to the back. That back had nowhere to go. Defensive line ate up the blocks, but how about the linebackers swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball carrier? And the Rebels in the hurry up. They give it to him again. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, and the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout, so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. Wants to throw, it's dark. And he can't escape, and down he goes. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. And the sack comes from the middle linebacker, who is the quarterback of the defense. Not only does he get everybody lined up, make all the calls, play the run, he can also rush the passer and sack quarterbacks. What a job. Looking for a block. It's Horn. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Got him downfield. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. When you run those routes, those curl routes just like that, those DBs are going to break when you go to throw the football. So you better put that thing on a line. And the QB did there. Put it on a line. Great job. Great catch. First down. Looking to go up top on first down. Caught behind the line. It's Hayden. 
And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. That play looked as if it had a chance to be productive, but the open field tackle stopped it. And it's tough to get a running back one-on-one -on, -one on the ground in the open field. You want guys swarming to the football to try to make that play. But understand, that guy is a weapon. Good job by the defense seeing it, breaking on the football, getting them on the ground. The quick out. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And I think you're seeing these guys in every offense now. These littler guys that they're so quick, it's hard to get a hand on them. They run crisp routes. You can throw it short, you can throw it long, but they're just big-time playmakers. You've definitely seen an emphasis shift towards smaller wide receivers with some serious skin. On target over the middle. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. He's going to pass. He's got it. There was tight coverage, but a perfect throw and catch, and they've got it at the nine first end goal. And man, this quarterback is on fire this drive. They've run five plays offensively. He's thrown it all five times. He's five for five, and now he has him down here. Touchdown, Buffalo! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. On the move from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Just too much juice on that one as he airmails his receiver out of bounds. And those are tough passes. When you start throwing those balls towards the sidelines, it's a, it's a longer throw for the quarterback to make. And I think that's when you see the majority of the misses for guys, the majority of the overthrows and, and a little bit of inaccuracy start to show itself. Right back to the air on second and 10. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. This defense has a lot of speed, especially in the secondary. You saw that speed. That defender got to that receiver so quick, and because of the hit, incomplete pass. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. From the gun to Gale, looking for room. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. The Rebels will try to pin them back with the punt. He gets a block. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. Line gets set, first down. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. To the air, it's Sanders. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance.
Just enough time for one final play of the half. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Can't make the connection in. Complete pass, and one second remains. Great job by the defense dialing up some pressure on third down. They hit the quarterback and forced the incompletion. Should be time for just one more play here in the half, so they'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. Incomplete. He took a shot on the final play of the quarter and couldn't quite find his man. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Fellas, yeoman's work so far today in Boulder, and welcome in to the halftime update. It's been a fun start to this one, and this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead, and unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency, and that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas at Folsom Field. And the Buffaloes will kick it away first and will start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Palmer? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're staring at third. Got to give this defense credit, man. They've been so good in the back end in coverage. They basically gave nothing away in the first half. And here they are in the second half defending a deep ball. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On the move. It's dark. Got his man in the middle. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. It's really hard when you get in those predictable situations. Defenses are sitting on the sticks. Receivers have to understand where that first down marker is. Heads up play, nose for the first down marker. Get in there and get it. And the Rebels are in the hurry up. Leaves it with the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. Or if I can quote the great Reese Davis, that was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Caught in the backfield, it's Watkins. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great way. To the ground with the back. Shakes off the defender. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. You see, they need more runs like that. It's just it's been so few and far between. Defensively, they've been in position. They've been winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, getting off of blocks and rallying to the ball carrier. This defense has done a nice job slowing down the run game thus far. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll bring it back. It's Horn. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shot. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. 
These last couple of drives, Jesse, have been about the defense making clutch stand. I think for this offense, they can stay aggressive knowing that their defense is going to bail them out time and time again here. Yeah, and especially when you go for those fourth down situations, you do that a lot of times because you know your defense can make stands, make stops. They did on that last possession for you. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Dropping back, it's Sanders. Quickly out to the tight end. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Lining up, trying to convert this third and short from the 40. He wants to throw it. He looks that one in nicely. Still on his feet at the 45. He's off to the races. Touchdown, Colorado. And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. That's his third touchdown pass of the day. The defense has no clue how to respond right now. No, and the defense has had absolutely no answer. He's been on the money. He's been on fire, making the right decisions and just carving this defense up. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. On the run from inside his own five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. The play action fake. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. Man, this offense has been bad. How about the first play? Nowhere to go, nowhere to run, tackle for a loss. Second play, you get your quarterback sacked. And the third play, now we're sitting in third and long, right where this defense wants to get us. Wow, this offense is just stuck in the mud. They've already punted four times, and it's third down now. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Got it behind the line. It's Wells. Really strong job by the defense. A negative play on third down. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? And I just lost yards on a screen play. How does that happen? The Rebels will punt this one away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return. Gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Off the play fake on first down. The throw. He's got it. And he will score. Touchdown, Bucks. That's number two on the day. Having a day. I mean... You know he's going to catch the football, and you know he's going to make plays after he catches. Those are the kind of guys that you feature, and you find them, and they produce like this, you keep finding them. Them. 
On to attempt the try. And the extra point is good for a 28-14 lead. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. So see quarterback one snap put it in the end zone. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game. So, Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. Trying play action. Got out of trouble and throws. Caught near the sideline, it's Wells. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. Great job by the defense here, rallying to this wide receiver and making the tackle. He is dangerous. They don't want to let this receiver get behind them, but they know that when he makes catches, they better rally quickly and get this guy on the ground. He is fast. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And when you play defensive end, it's all about getting off the football. You can tell, gets off the football really fast, gets in the backfield, gets the running back before he knows what hit him. What a play by the defensive end. They'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. Looking for a man. It's dark. Gets it out quickly. Snowed under by the defense. Slant routes. They're good against man coverage, but they're good against zone coverage, too. If that receiver can find the soft spot between the linebacker and the DB, you'll take that throw all day. And the Rebels headed quickly to the line. Now on the option. Plows through the defense. Good pick up there. He gets enough for the first down. The Rebels are marching down the field. They'll put the tight end in motion. Running back searching for a hole. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Off the play fake. Looking to the big tight end. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. They knew they could slip that tight end behind the backers with that play action fake. Well, it's because I can't win, Reese. I, I have to play the run. You know, all these RPOs, all these different things. I it makes me come up and use my eyes and play run. And these tight ends are so valuable to find space behind. Knew where he was going with the football the whole time because the big fella, he's always open. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Grabbed over the middle. It's Watkins. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. 
This has been utter domination through three quarters, and the stats will back that up. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. And they can't connect, but the flag flies, and I think this is going to be pass interference. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Knocked off his feet, but not before he picked up six yards down to the 10. Sometimes as an offense, you like run plays, and you like running it right into the teeth of the blitz. That's what happened right there. Everybody up front got a hat on a hat, and they were able to crease that defense. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. And now a big third down coming up. Down multiple possessions. This is one, Palmer, I'm looking for six. I'm not trying to kick a field goal. I want to cut into this lead with a touchdown. No, you got to have it. And also, considering all that, this is four down territory, too. So you need to identify who are your best players on offense and how can you give them a chance to score this touchdown. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide on these situations. You know the physical ground game comes into play inside the five-yard line, and they match the intensity. Nice job. Everybody flying around to the football, making the tackle for a loss. Nice job by this defense. And we'll cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, oh! Well, if the momentum hadn't shifted before, it certainly has now. It has, and now you got some game pressure, right? That's beautiful. Now the defense comes out, gets you a stop, get aggressive, but the offense a little bit of pressure now because they know if the ball goes back to the other side, they could lose this ball game. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. Just about set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. The Buffaloes racing to the line in the hurry up. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. Throws to the wide out. Wide open downfield. And how does he keep running? I'd be dizzy after a spin move like that. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. And that big gainer on the last one has them ready to go from inside the 10. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. 
Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, and David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion, so everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of a spot. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. They'll try to pass it in on third and goal. Pressure's there and he lets it go. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Absolutely perfect. And that will extend their lead even further. You know, it's funny, in an age where there's so many college football analytics and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down, at the end of the day, it still comes down to managing the game. Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. The back goes in motion. Got it in the middle. It's Harris. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Good start to this drive, and they'll need much, much more if they're going to give them a finish. They need a ton more of this, but you've got to start the drives great. The first play needs to be really good. That was a good start. Now we've got to keep building on it, and we got to do it in a hurry. Hand off from the shotgun. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes in it. And the Rebels will hustle through the line. They'll try to power their way ahead. Really nice job to get it past the sticks. Pick up the first down at the 30. Well, the good news is, is you got the first down running it there on second and short, but the bad news is you're down by quite a bit here in the fourth quarter, and two, three, four-yard gains aren't going to get it done. You've got to start chucking this thing vertically to get back in the game. The Rebels have it with a first and ten. Looking downfield, it's dark. Got his man quickly. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. This is the moment for this offense to put a drive together. It doesn't matter what's happened up to the point of this game, but you're trailing right now. You've got to put some points up on the board. This is where all 11 guys need to be playing together as one. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. He's looking to throw. Pulls it in. It's Wells. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. And the Rebels are flying down the field. Comes out throwing on first down. Got his man. At the 40, there he goes. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. And that's why this guy is such a weapon in this offense, because you don't have to throw it far downfield. Just get the ball in his hands. He catches it close to the line of scrimmage, but look what he was able to do after the catch. He gets an explosive play for this offense. 
They keep attacking through the air. Quarterback now on the run, still looking. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hits. You know, we don't see this very much in college football anymore. Quarterbacks just taking care of their bodies and making smart decisions. Get down on the ground so you don't take one of these big hits from these nasty defensive players and just give yourself a chance to make it through the rest of this game. Let's see what they've got on second down. Back to pass. It's dark. Fires deep toward the end zone. This is caught for the late touchdown, so let's not put this one to bed just yet. And listen, still a ways to go, but great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now, we got a one-possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stopped? Now, the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they draw closer. It's 31-28. So a drive there of 82 yards. And they cover the final 29 yards with that touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Guys, you want to be productive here and not go into a shell, but you've got to take care of the ball. Yeah, and I think you say productive. He's productive at this point in the game is running the clock and getting first down. So, Jesse, I can expect this defense to be aggressive, way up near the line of scrimmage, bringing a bunch of bodies, trying to stop the run. And that's why it puts a lot of pressure on an offense, David, because you know if you do try to throw the football, it's probably man coverage and probably getting blitzed. It's going to be into a small window. It is not easy to execute in this situation of the game. Big third down for this defense. Listen, you've got to get the ball back. You know what they're doing. They're trying to run the football, but we need the clock to be on our side so our offense has some time. Got to make a stand right here on third down. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. And the Buffaloes send out the punt unit. He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. This is a game of swings and momentum and a great opportunity here after scoring on the last drive. Get, makes the grab, and he'll run out of bounds just short of the goal line. Wanted to get it in, but couldn't quite get home. And perfect situational awareness there. Get the first down, don't get greedy, stop the clock. Yeah, and that's why this team practices these types of two-minute situations all week long leading up to games so that everybody's on the same page. That receiver did an awesome job getting out of bounds to try to preserve as much clock as possible. So now the opportunity with a touchdown to take the lead. Direct snap. Touchdown, Rebel! And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 
on the move from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. He's going up top here late in the game. Can anyone catch him? Touchdown, Buffaloes! And that one will put him up here in the second half. What a great job by this offense. And listen, I judge offenses by what they do in the clutch. In those big moments and right before the half, in the fourth quarter late in the game, just like right here, you need a score. you got to go take the lead. They do everything they can. Now, defense, you're up. I need you to get me a stop. If he can make this one, the lead will be three. And it's good, and he pushes the lead to three. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Scanning the field, it's dark. They're bringing heat. And the pressure will get there. The sack, down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. Well, here we are late in the game, and this secondary, they are still covering. They forced the QB to hold on to it, and then he bailed out, trying to buy himself more time. And because he couldn't get rid of the football so quickly early, that allowed the pass rush to get to him. And quickly to the line of scrimmage, they spike it and stop the clock. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Pressure coming. And the missed connection on third down. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller, and certainly if you're the quarterback, that you're going to have time to throw. On fourth down, looking for the completion. Trying to escape and get it himself. He did not get there, and they'll have to give up the football, and they might have just seen this game slip away. And the quarterback takes a knee. 